to, to get your deal finally done and, and be able to report here. We're happy, happy to finally uh, have that handled. Yeah, it was a long process, but I'm happy. To, I'm happy it's, it's over with, and, and I just get to play football. Obi, what do you expect out of yourself this season, and how do you think you fit with the Raiders defense? Uh, I definitely expect myself to make a big impact, hopefully on special teams and and alongside the defense. Um, I'm a guy that holds myself to a high standard, so I think I think I should definitely definitely do something to help the team win. What's it like to have somebody like um, Nelson in the room with you that um, established that to kind of help you through it? It's it's honestly a blessing to have somebody uh, a pro. Um, he comes in here, handles his business, um, really pick his brain and find two things to help to help my game become better. Is definitely going to be something I look forward to. You mentioned Reggie, Reggie Nelson. Is he, would you say he's the guy that, uh, that you've looked to the most? Is like basically you've gravitated towards or someone else? Uh, I feel like all the guys I've gravitated towards uh, an equal amount. Everybody gives me something different. Um, so there's not really one guy in particular. Um, I just, I'm just excited to be, to be a part of the team. Was there any catch up for you kind of missing the first couple of days of pre-camp? No, uh, during OTAs, I had a good OT. I had good OTAs. I had good rookie minicamp. Uh, I was in my playbook a lot this 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 off season, so um, it was really it was really no it was really no big deal to get back into it. Being a four year start at UConn, you you've established yourself. Coming here, how would you like to be known as a, a hitter, a guy that breaks on the ball, a guy that plays the ball? I mean, can you define yourself, even though? You haven't played in the NFL yet. I think I think I I think I want to be patented as a guy that that has a good range, a guy that could close, uh, and a guy that can make plays. With that said, what are your thoughts of playing a possibly a hybrid role like safety linebacker? Uh, I'm excited about it. I've um, it's something that's new to me, but but with the coaching staff, it's definitely something that that could be learned. What do you think? The biggest difficulty, I guess, is at that position. Uh, just run fits, um, run pass conflict, especially in the NFL. You know, you have teams that play action pass and do things like that. So that's definitely going to be something that that's, that's going to be have to learn. What's the biggest difference when you look at camp <clears throat> and what you've done in college? That, that that transition so far, even though you haven't played yet, but is there a big difference yet? I think it's the game speed. Everything happens so much quicker. Uh, in the NFL, everybody's everybody's fast, um, and the quarterbacks are are a lot more elite. So definitely the game speed and and just and just slowing the game down. What about the intelligence of the game when you looked at the playbook that they've given you in minicamp and what you had to look at four years in UConn? Uh, it's really not that much of a difference. Uh, in, in college, I went through three different coaches, uh, three different defensive schemes. So I'm a guy that that can pick up a playbook pretty well. In the spring, there were times in which you drew man assignments against tight ends. What was that experience like? <clears throat> yeah, it's fun. I, I like to think of my guy, myself as a guy that could cover man, um, can also cover in space, pay the post. So it's it's definitely a challenge, but it's something that it's something that I'm looking forward to. Jared Cook, his, his size, his speed, that combination. What do you think going against him throughout training camp will do for your preparation for the season? It'll it'll work wonders. Uh, Working on leverage, working on um, his route stem, um, and just really being able to to lock on a guy like that is definitely going to help during the season. Are there been any tight ends or other receivers who you've had some back and forth with you know, after a rep, after a practice, where you can talk about certain plays and <coughs> use it to you know pick his brain a little bit in terms of how he played you, so you could learn how to play him? Not yet, not yet. When you finally got your deal done, uh, anticipating that you go out and get a car, get a Get a stud on, on that ear. I don't see anything on it. Did you, what, how did you celebrate? How did you go? Uh, I was just, I was just honestly excited to get the deal done, uh, and just really, I'm just really excited to just focus on football now. A couple more questions, guys. Who's your roommate at camp? Uh, Brady. Have you kept in touch with Gary on just throughout this? I know, I'm sure, just like you're, you're excited to focus on football. I know he's the same way. He's wait, waiting for that chance. Uh, not really. Um, like I said, I was just focused on myself, really, my family, and, and getting out here and, and playing football.